Hey guys, Game Man Dan here, and I'm back again. Um, sorry for long absence, just been a lot of trouble with uh, a lot of different things. Um, I had no camera for a while and everything, but I'm here to make a new pickups video for October and November. Um, I haven't been picking much stuff up since I left YouTube for a little while. I'm back now, obviously. But um, I got some really cool stuff, and I'm here to show you. So let's start with some handheld stuff. Um, the coolest thing I got was probably this. Um, it is a Japanese Game Boy Color. I couldn't get a hold of it. A Japanese Game Boy Color, and uh, they don't really look different. Um, but if you look at the back, it says GPN1. Um, I doubt you can see that, but this is Japanese. Um, I paid $9 plus $4 shipping for this in a bid and I was surprised no one was bidding on it because Japanese Game Boys I don't think are easy to find especially for four dollars shipping uh, but it came with two games it came with um, Zelda um, I forgot what it's called but DX um, not Link to the Past the other one uh, but yeah it came with Zelda Japanese version and the artwork on the Japanese version is way better and um, Dragon Quest um, I don't know what number this is but it's Dragon Quest really awesome and then I was in the spirit of buying a Japanese Game Boy, so I wanted to pick up something else, and I got uh, the only Pokemon game that didn't come over here on the original Game Boy, and that is a Pokemon Green. Uh, I can't really play it, because, you know, um, I can't read Japanese, but still, nonetheless, it's really cool. Also picked up another handheld, a regular Game Boy Color. Uh, this one's green. It's a pretty bad shape. Paid 15 for this. Came with two games. Um... The game sucked, they were wild thornberries and like powerpuff girls, but you know, uh, I kind of wanted this and I was expecting it to have uh, the battery cover, which it does, but look, it doesn't have the little clip on it so you can't really hold it on, but whatever, uh, it's still cool to have another one, these are three and four in my collection, I hope to get more, I really like Game Boy Colors, uh, Game Boy is really fun, and uh, now let's move on to um, NES games, my favorite. So I picked up some really awesome NES games the past few months. Um, some of them were recommended to me, like this first one, uh, Metal Mech, um, Man and Machine. This was recommended to me by my good friend Liberated Animal. Uh, he picked this up, he said it was pretty cool, and it sounded pretty cool, so I wanted to give it a try. I played it, um, it's pretty good. The graphics kind of suck, but um, it's still a pretty cool game, a uh, pretty cool concept. This next game um, is a game I kind of hate because I hate McDonald's and everything. Uh, but Mick Kids, a lot of people picked this up recently. Really cool game. Uh, actually pretty fun. Uh, you think McDonald's game would just like slap their name on some really shitty game, but it's almost like a Mario Brothers 3 clone, so it's really fun. So uh, if you can pick this up for like four dollars, which I did, it's a pretty good deal. This is um, like my third or fourth Tension Cart Afterburner. Uh, I wanted more Tension Carts, and this is a really cool game. But when I play it, it feels like it's going to give me a seizure because the sprite scaling is so choppy. It's like like this, and it, it's just, it's okay. I can't play it for more than five minutes or it'll just give me a headache. The next game I got is The Moffat Conspiracy. Uh, pretty cool game. It's a sequel to a game. I forgot the game, though, uh, but it's cool. I picked this up at my favorite store, Toy and Game Land. Pretty cool. Um, it's in really good shape, too. Label's, like, perfect. The next game I thought was really cool, and it's a five screw. Elevator action. It's actually a really fun um, kind of, um, I guess, platformer, but it's more like an arcade style platformer, so it's really fun. Uh, pick it up if you can. It's in really good shape, too, that's why I picked it up, but um, I believe I got this at Twin Game Land, so it's a pretty cool game. Um, these games I got in a lot. Um, I actually bought a, um, a uh, NES clone. I'll show you that later, but um, it's pretty cool. Um, it works, but pretty badly, but. Um, these games came with it. The reason why I bought it is because it was $18 and it came with a few games. Uh, one of the games were Anticipation. I have no need for this game. It doesn't look very fun. And what kind of cover is that? There's like a bunch of like 30 year old men happy about an NES game. It's kind of weird. Um, it came with another copy of Blades of Steel because uh, I needed another one of those. This is the game why I pretty much bought it and obviously it's the game that's in the worst shape. 
um, Tecmo Super Bowl. Uh, the label's messed up, but it's still a good game to have. Uh, the price on this keeps rising and rising, so it's really cool to get this. And it's tons of fun, so it's good. Another game that came with that lot was Win, Lose, Draw. Pretty stupid game. Um, not really looking forward to playing it. And uh, the last game that came with that was Vegas Dreams. Actually a pretty cool game. Uh, should try it out sometime. This next game I got on eBay for $6, which I think is a pretty good deal because it goes for about 15 bucks. And um, it's the other Flintstones game, not Rescue, uh, this is the Rescue of Dino and Hoppy. The other one is uh, Dinosaur Peak, which, you know, it's like impossible to get. But that game's actually really fun. Um, I've never played the other one, so I can't really compare them, but that game's actually really fun. Here's some games I picked up at the thrift store. Um, they were in a bag, like um, the last ones were. Three in a bag for like two dollars. So um, this is Magic Darts uh, in really great shape. Uh, too bad it's not a good game. Wheel of Fortune. Don't really care about Wheel of Fortune. Um, Monopoly. Uh, at some point, someone was charging twenty bucks for this, I guess, and they wrote on it with permanent marker. Twenty bucks for Monopoly. I wouldn't pay twenty bucks for Monopoly if it was brand new. Whatever. And. Jeopardy. Um, I actually like Jeopardy. Probably won't like this game though, because um, I like watching the show because it makes you smarter and stuff. And the last game is Super Spike V-Ball. Uh, I could care less about this game, but it's still cool to have that. Now on to some PlayStation 1 games. Um, two of these are actually sealed. Um, if you watched my last game hunting video, which is a while ago, uh, you'll see that uh, I was walking down the street and I found this like vendor selling all these old games for like two bucks a piece. So I picked this up. Skydiving Extreme um, looks pretty bad, but it was sealed, so you know it was like one of the only cool games I had there. And uh, this game I got from my good friend Pro B Man Five, Cool Borders 2000, sealed, brand new, awesome. This next game I also got from Pro B Man Five, Asteroids, really cool game. It's basically like the old Asteroids with improved graphics and music and everything, really really cool. And uh, this last game I got from uh, that same vendor that was on the street. Uh, Wu-Tang Clan Shaolin Style, and uh, heard a cool thing about this game, um, if you actually put it in a CD player, you can listen to the album, too, so, um, this came with a, a, um, hidden game that was inside, Street Fighter Alpha 2, uh, pretty cool, I uh, hope you can see that, but, yeah, it was just inside there, and, you know, I have no need to play that, but, awesome. These next three games are for a console I don't have yet, but, um, I'm really looking forward to get one. Uh, these games were sent to me by Pro B Man 5 and he said he's actually going to give me one of these systems, so he's really awesome for that. And he gave me some really cool games here. He gave me Jet Force, um, Jet Set Radio Future. Heard some good things about this from Dinky Dana, I think it was. So um, I'm eager to try this out. Uh, the graphics look really interesting and pretty original, so that's really cool to get that. And uh, this next game I played a long time ago. Uh, but. Fable. Um, they're still making Fables, I think. Uh, Fable 3 was the last one I remember, uh, but it's still a cool, uh, cool game. Uh, it's like an RPG, if you don't know about Fable. You should. And uh, this game is extremely hard. I remember playing this with my brother when he had an original Xbox, like, like eight years ago. Uh, Star Wars Old Republic. Uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, really, really cool game. Uh, it's in really great shape, complete and everything, so it's really cool to have that. Uh, thank you, Pro Man 5 for all these generous gifts, and I still haven't showed you the best thing yet, so it's really awesome. Thanks for that. So let's get into PlayStation 2 games. You know, I'm a big PlayStation 2 fan, but sadly, I only picked up about 10 games, and they were most of them were in a lot. But uh, this game was from that street vendor, uh, Need for Speed Underground. Um, as you can see, the case is regular, but the game is greatest hits, so that's weird. But uh, it's complete and everything. Really cool to have this game. I remember playing this a lot when I had it. So really cool to get that again. So I saw a movie and I absolutely loved it. It was called Reservoir Dogs. And then I found out they made a game for it. So obviously I had to get the game. Um, it is actually a really cool game. Um, if you've seen the movie, um, which you should have, it actually takes you through the parts that uh, you don't get to see in the movie. Uh, actually, you get to play the robbery and everything. So it's really cool. Um, and on the disc... There's an ear, so that's really awesome. Cool game. So all these next games came in a lot. Um, really happy about it. I paid $17 for all these games on eBay, which is great because one game is worth about double that. So um, I had this game a long time ago, Smackdown, Here Comes the Pain. 
Galactic Wrestling. Really don't care about this game, but um, all these games are complete and in really good shape. So uh, I guess this looks pretty cool. I heard some really good things about this game um, from various people. Um, and you actually get to play the original game on here. It's Rampage. You can see that there. It says um, original Rampage and Rampage World Tour games included. So that's really cool. Uh, this next game I really don't care about. Never was a huge Lord of the Rings fan, but um, Lord of the Rings, um, the two towers, so that's pretty cool. This next game I heard is really cool. Uh, I have a PSP version I've played before, Parappa the Rappa. Uh, that's really cool. Um, it's basically like Guitar Hero where the notes are coming at you on the screen and you have to hit the buttons to coordinate with those, I guess. So it's uh, really cool, really cool artwork. I like the shininess and it's in really, really great shape, so it's a really cool game to have in your collection. This game I really don't care about, stupid sports game, um, and uh, MVP Baseball 2005, whatever. Uh, I have the second one of this series, Solcom, US Navy SEALs have the second one. Pretty cool games, uh, like strategic kind of army games or war games, which is really cool. And this last game is pretty much why I bought this lot off of eBay for. Um, it is an awesome, awesome game. Um, it is almost like a sequel, it's made by the same people to my favorite game, uh, Shadow of the Colossus on the PlayStation 2, so I got Eco, um, and all the games in the whole lot were complete, except for the game I wanted to be complete, but nonetheless, it's still a great game, it's still really awesome, I'm still really happy to have it in my collection, um, I've been looking for that for a while, and when I saw it in the lot for 17 bucks, I had to, had to have it, so, uh, that's really awesome, and now let's get into the big, cool stuff. Or drop some. So this is the clone I got. Um, it actually works pretty cool. Um, it's kind of like the cheaper kind of clones. You can get better ones like the Generation Next or whatever, which is one I actually really want. But this is uh, the Retro Entertainment System, which is cool. Um, it works. I actually brought this over to my aunt's house because it's much more compact than regular NES. Regular NES is about three times the size of this. So it's really awesome. It fits in your hand like awesome. Um, you can, it's actually the size of two controllers stacked up like this. So it's really cool to have that. And again, I got this in a lot for 15 bucks with like six games, so that's really cool. And this last thing was actually, um, given to me in a giveaway from Pro B Man 5, and this is why he is so awesome. He's the most generous guy, he's really smart, and he's really supportive of everybody's channel, so just go check him out, um, for yourself, for me, for him, because he's a really cool guy. He makes some really um, interesting videos, so go check him out. And he sent me a PlayStation um, system in the box. Um, I've, I think they're kind of hard to find in the box. I don't really see too many of them. Um, I don't know that many people who own many of them, other than like Ed T1138, because he has everything. But um, yeah, it's awesome to have one of these. The box is kind of bland, but it still looks kind of cool. Um, he gave me a lot of stuff with this. Most of those games showed me. I show you were from him. He gave me a lot of controllers and everything, so I really thank you, Proby Man Five. And uh, that's been my pickups video for October and November. Um, I know it's been a while, guys. Sorry, I'm back now, and uh, you'll be seeing Nintendo Junkie Saturday next week. Um, sorry for not having it this week, but um, I want to put a lot more time and effort into each episode now. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.